and did you become a conservative? I'm not sure I'm conservative. I I, I, uh, I think that a lot of people uh, have grave misconceptions about uh, what I am. I, I grew up under parents who were very dedicated and devoted to this country, who are red-blooded Americans, and that's what I like to think of myself as a dedicated American rather than a conservative, and uh, you know, rather than wear that label. Um, there are a lot of people I've met who think that Americanism, being close to your country, being in love with your country, is conservatism, particularly blacks. You know, for example, how many black leaders uh, in their presentations do you uh, hear say very kind things about America? How many of them really say, I love the United States of America? Uh, it was, number one, it's not very, very popular. It, it's a, it's a liberal, it appears, not to say these kinds of things about your country. Um, who was an officer in World War I. My dad was a captain in World War I, which was a little bit somewhat unique for a black man to become an officer in World War I. Um, he, was, he, he, he was a college graduate. He, he's an, an agriculturalist. Uh, both of my parents are educators, though we were real, real poor. Uh, they gave their all for the country, for their community, for their local community. Uh, right now, for example, they have around 100 disadvantaged children, still have them, no federal aid to take care of those kids. They take care of those kids through private contributions, whatever. Well, coming up under them, I th always thought they were conservative. I, I suppose that conservatism is inherent in me if, if, if I'm going to be labeled. Uh, Nowadays, I got OEO, SBA, certain factions, HEW, the new program action. And you people, every time I turn around, white folks trying to do something for me because I'm black. And it makes me feel bad because it makes me think something is wrong with me. All I ever wanted you to do is open the door and give me an opportunity to work. Don't want anything. Say, I tell my little black kid, say in six, seven, eight years, we're going to have civil rights. They say, what you mean? If you don't appreciate, ever appreciate Clay Smith or anything else, you appreciate me for being the fanatic. They say, I am. I see it everywhere. But, uh, white people like you more than black people? Now, uh, uh, there's a difference. I have overcome all my prejudices. I like black folks a little bit better. And, 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 and Jim, I live in the middle of black community, and, and which is an implication that I love black folks a little bit better. I don't have to live here, you see. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe God only knows. I don't know why. When I was in the Army, we were completely integrated when I was in the Army during the Korean conflict. All of us black guys always ended up at the same uh, dinner table. You know, so, uh, no, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. I have a lot of black people on my side. I got a lot against me. Okay, what color I am. You shouldn't care. You should even try and look past the skin color. We're so sensitive, you white folks don't even know what to call us. You know that? You know how many white people I've said, had asked me, Clay, what do I call y'all? Colored? Black? What? Police officer over in Dallas arrested this man and said, in court, told the judge, I arrested this black man in the Negro community for beating a colored woman. <laughs> and even to bring it to me about what a black or white preacher says about Clay Smothers, I know one thing. The black preachers speak to more black people than any other person in, in our community. And I think they're hurting us rather than helping us. Why? How? Well, uh, my land, how many black preachers address themselves to the problems in the community? How many black preachers now go to the jail houses? How many black preachers walk from door to door and visit with, with families? No such thing anymore. You, you, uh, I, don't, I don't mean to say just black preachers because you got white preachers too the same way. And I'm... I'm and I'm disappointed in both. But I tell you what, if you see a Cadillac drive up down this street with a man with a $225 suit on in it, if his face is black, I'll bet you he's a preacher. Does in it, other words, I'm trying to... Your concern, just like Jesse Jackson's or somebody else who might be of a different philosophy, is the black community. Now, what do you really think? Do you really think George Wallace can do the black community and here in Dallas or, or any place else more good than George McGovern or, or some liberal Democrat? I don't think George Wallace would attempt to do anything for the black community per se. I think that he would attempt to do something for this country. Uh, it would involve all communities. I think that he would probably go down in history as one of the greatest presidents if he ever became president of this country, as far as answering, bringing forth an answer to welfare, bringing forth an answer to, to poverty, and that would be work. 
I think he would provide it. He would provide it as a, if, even if the government had to provide that work. I think that he'd have every able-bodied man and woman working, military basis. black thought that I was a nut. I worked as music director on KNOK radio station where I tried to be an informative man. Uh, uh, I became quite popular in Dallas as a result of it. I received a third of the Texas of Texas is um, delegate votes for vice president of the United States and I don't think that these 45 delegate votes thought I think I was nuts. I think they see me as unique, different. I think uh, that I'm controversial and I regret it so very, very much. Okay, you are for, and you've said, uh, I know you've indicated that, that the, the major black groups who purport to be helping the black community really aren't doing the right things at all to help the black community. Not now, do you? Not now. I want to ask you a, a hypothetical question. If you, tomorrow, were put in charge of the black community and can do whatever you wanted to do, what would you do? Start right, and I stay in the black community in, in the first place, and I concentrate on those problems in the black community. I forget momentarily about the white man, you know, how he's mistreated me and all the injustices, and I dodge black-white confrontations, and I go back in my community and I try to do something about the crime in that community. I try to do something about the statutory rape of our little girls. Uh, I try to do something about the numerous break-ins and burglaries. I try to do something to discourage immorality in my community. I'm, I'm a little bit prejudiced, and I, I'm, I think of my community first, and I, and I, and, and I think that's a healthy kind of prejudice. Um, we've gotten to the day now, I give, pardon the expression, less than a damn about what any man, white or any other color, think about me as a Negro. Uh, you see, we, I got started some three years ago, and like I told you, I, I, I knew what was coming. I can't afford to be a phony. I'm a broke man today because of my philosophy. I'm a broke man today because of my convictions, and they're darn strong. I'm a man who's prepared to make money. Now, I haven't made any money to speak of now for the last four years. I prepared myself to, 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 to make money, and before I got into this, seldom did I ever make less than $16,000, $20,000 a year, particularly with my wife working by my side. 
And as a result of it now, as a result of it now, one of my kids sleeping on the floor. So I'm wrong in anti-busing, and I'm an anti-busser. There's nothing wrong in being against amnesty for those who run out on us, you see. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being against many of the liberal philosophies that I think of, uh, is, 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 at one time, at least a few years ago, turned this country almost into anarchy. I don't see a thing in the world wrong with it, but I think it's going to be, I must be one of two things. Like some people think of me, I must be nuts, or I must be damn loyal and dedicated to my convictions.